Good morning and or afternoon. Uh, welcome to um, another edition of our IDS Talks podcast, uh, Transatlantic Tea Time. This time from a very special location with two guys that you know very well, Dan and Tim. That Ciao. is not. Buongiorno. That is not. Yeah. That is not England behind you, is it? <laughs> no. Well, it might look like it because it's so much sun this year. We've kind of done a, a, a bit of a flip side, but uh, but yeah, the weather seems to be similar to the UK. But no, we're in we're, we're in Italy. All right. So um, before uh, we dig into that, I, we've got to ask. I know you're there for the the uh, for the delicious food, the the uh, culture that's there, the museums. But in reality, you had a very important business reason for being there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we make a yearly pilgrimage over to Florence for the uh, IBA competition conference that happens here, uh, it, you know, and has done so for the last 26 years. So it's a, an extremely well run uh, event and one we try and participate in as much as possible. We've been coming here for five plus years, have great friends, have uh, incredible uh, sort of colleagues that we've worked with, uh, meet new people every single time. Uh, and more than anything, the topics and the discussions that are had in and around the conference are unmatched. Yeah. Okay. So what before I ask you for your takeaways, you mentioned having friends there, people that you've known for years, people that you work with. Rumor has it, there is someone right next to you who fits that bill. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yes, yes. This is uh, Jennifer Sharvich. She's a very, very close friend of ours. I've known Jennifer for 10 years now, I would say. Yeah, we, we uh, work together in Brussels, um, and now we have joint ventures with Lexensis, the company uh, that she owns and operates uh, and, and works with us on managed review. Uh, so well, when, we need, right. when we need people, we go to Jennifer. Exactly. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the podcast, Jennifer. Glad you could make an appearance. Hi. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Uh, we should have her holding the umbrella for you guys, like Wentworth oh. was for, uh, was it for, for Diddy, was the umbrella uh -huh. guy? You need to yeah. have the umbrella person. There you go. Next yeah. time. I think Next I've, time. I probably just dated myself with that reference, but but that's okay. All right. So uh, in honor of our, of our COO, Hunter McMahon, who loves uh, Ted Lasso, um, and thus our special IDS Be Curious, Not Judgmental Hats, which I am wearing, um, I am curious, I won't be judgmental about you not including me. Um, I won't be judgmental about the picture that I saw of the Florentine steak that was sent to me. Instead, I want to be curious. And uh, if you could share three takeaways that you have from this year's uh, conference. Well, you go first, Dan. I mean, one, I mean, the big topic du jour for, for, for this conference was the uh, Digital Markets Act that's coming up. Uh, you know, it's starting to enter into force and they're starting to, to prepare for the rollout. Uh, it's creating a lot of questions in the industry, a lot of uh, uncertainty in terms of how competition law will be deployed and enforced in the near future as it applies to, to some different aspects of the regulation. Um, you could definitely tell that there was some reticence and really giving some concrete answers of where that's going to go. But I think that's just the nature of the fact that everyone's sort of dealing with a bit of an unknown at the moment. So it was really, really good to kind of hear some of the thought leaders speak about what 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 could be coming uh, and give some uh, assurance that it will at least be rational uh, when when it is rolled out. Uh, so, so that's one of the, the areas that I was really intrigued by and, and was appreciative from the, from the thought leaders. Okay, so that's it's, one. It's, it's sort of derivative of Dan's, I suppose. I mean, we were at the same conference after all, uh, so you can't blame me for that. But I think, I think it was interesting and somewhat refreshing to hear just how candid the regulators themselves were. And I think Dan includes them when he says thought leaders, oh, yeah. uh, n not just the, practice, the legal practitioners in the space. But they were very candid in saying, uh, you know, come and talk to us if you have a question about something or, uh, you know, the basis of a merger or something like that. Come and chat to us, which kind of made the entire room quiet for a moment, because I think a lot of the practitioners were thinking, well, I, I might not go to the regulator and ask them if it's OK if I engage in some kind of uh, anti-competitive related activity. So it was it was interesting for them to take that tack and say, hey, do open door policy come be collaborative with us because they indicated as we've seen in the market they confirmed that leniency applications and filings are down 
I'm, I'm speaking a little out of turn here. It's not my my practice area, but basically they've seen a re- sort of reduced level of leniency applications because they're afraid of the being subjected to the larger follow-on damages and claims that can that can result. So they're basically sitting on their hands and not doing as much as they they might have in the past. So it's 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 all kind of progressing and uh, just just interesting to get. Uh, that this caliber caliber of people in a room sort of talking openly is very uh, refreshing. It's it's less of an echo chamber when that happens. Sure. No, and I think that yeah. that that is not common at all. And to have regulators say, "Come, come talk to us first. I don't think that's happening much here in the U.S. for sure. So, all right, uh, I need one more of your three takeaways. I mean, the last one for me is, uh, you know, we came here and we sponsored last year. So this is the second time we're, we're sponsoring as IDS at the at the Florence event. Uh, last year was the very first time uh, the IB went, IBA went back in person. It was their absolute first uh, conference that was, again, in person. Uh, so last year was, uh, was a little bit low on numbers. I mean, we were talking sub 100. Uh, this year it was a packed house. Uh, I'd never seen anything like it. Uh, again, we've been coming for about five, five years now. Uh, so it was really just a great opportunity to, to see the people that we know. But I think more so than, than any other year, uh, we, we met so many new friends uh, from so many different locations. Uh, and it was a, a great opportunity to connect uh, with, with, with colleagues old and new. So, so that was a really great uh, surprise. We, we had a dinner last night at one of our favorite places we've come to many times. And I think we had something like nine countries yeah. at our small dinner table. It was very, very international. Yeah. Very good. It was very good. <clears throat> well, here's what I propose, gents. I propose that next year we do our IDS Talks podcast, Florence Edition. All three of us together oh, in person. Perfecto. I, yeah? I want that to happen so bad. So you better get here. We'll, we'll keep the gelato cold for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, uh, thank you guys for taking some time um, to, to talk with me this morning, afternoon for you. Uh, for everyone who listened, if you're not currently subscribed to um, our IDS Talks podcast, please do so. Go to your favorite uh, podcast provider download location. Um, And if you um, are watching this on video or want to watch this on video, go ahead to our YouTube channel, IDS uh, TV, and subscribe. Again, guys, enjoy. Safe travels home. And uh, we'll be talking again soon. Thank you. See you, everyone.